This is a short demonstration of how we're using the DIY helicopter keyboard modification. We're going to set the radio and the transponder without using the mouse. We're using default FSX events that we've remapped to the button locations on our modified keyboard. There's no coding or hacking necessary. We're on the ramp at Monterey, California, preparing for a short flight to Salinas. Monterey is Class C airspace, so we can expect to talk with clearance delivery before we taxi, even when on a VFR flight. FSX doesn't simulate that though, so we had to set this up as an IFR flight. Start by getting the ATIS information. Push the COM SELECT button, and these numbers are highlighted on the standby frequency. We're using the increase selection and decrease selection events to tune the radio. Push the COM SELECT button twice to tune the numbers to the right of the decimal point. The frequency is 119.25. Switch it to the active frequency. I'll tune in clearance delivery on 135.45. Get your clearance. Unfortunately, when you're prompted to accept the clearance, FSX automatically dials in your transponder code. Here's how to dial it in manually. Push the transponder button once to highlight the first digit. Again, use the same increase and decrease selection buttons to dial in the correct number. Push the transponder button twice to highlight the second digit and dial that in. If you press the transponder button three times, you can change the third digit. Press it four times to change the fourth digit. Now you're ready to contact Monterey Ground on 121.9. When you're ready for takeoff, dial in the Monterey Tower frequency and set it as active. Also, dial in your departure frequency that clearance delivery gave you, but leave it on the standby side. Do this to reduce your workload after takeoff. Now get your clearance to take off and go flying. Since you're on a VFR flight, you can cancel your IFR clearance after departing Class C airspace. You can modify a keyboard like this for your flight simulator. You can also build the DIY Easy Helicopter Collective and desktop frame we're showing here. Our videos and instruction manuals show you how. 
It's a do-it-yourself project, so check out DIYFlightSims.com for more info.